have it uh, have it really you can draw it out with some of your cutaways and your establishings and, and your your angle choices and you can really build the tension so that when you have those relatively few movements you can really take people's breath away with the amount of tension underneath it take their breath away Dee dee. All, right, all right, Vimeo people. Let's move on. We're on. Uh, we're on entry seven, on y'all. Note, I guess, is what that was. <laughs> hey. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're on that sound. <laughs> we're on, on to that uh, tone. DX six channels. Uh, so Vimeo people, ready to go? Three, two, one. Unpause. And there we go. Okay, DX six channel. I'm trying to remember this one. Long Saber. Yeah, the, well, the sniper ones with the the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, with, okay. with guns, also with guns. Yes. Yes. I yes. love the idea of incorporating uh, ranged weapons, and I like that it's bounty hunters in the Star Wars universe. I like that. I like that we're gonna see some uh, some range with the melee. Um, but you know. I just can't get over that. how damn cool that blaster rifle is. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. yes, that rules. Yeah. Well played, son. Well played. And we're that gonna, is cool. We're gonna, it away. We're gonna see, see that it here yet, in a second. But, uh, yeah, but, it's coming yeah. up. Spoilers. Well, someone's yeah, gonna be talking over it. Who cares? Yeah. With that said, you know, if you're gonna take the time to learn fighting posture, I would take the time to learn actual military posture. The way that he holds the weapon here, he's a little high in the stance, a little loose with it. That said, that auto blaster is the hotness. Yeah. <laughs> and the the uh, interactive lighting is is uh, very nice. I I like that detail. It really helps sell that element of it. Right. My only criticism here is, well, not my only, but the, some of the criticism I have here is the, you have him down on the ground. How about you kill him? You're very clearly a bounder hunter. You and want you him dead. you have his gun in your hand. And, and you could have shot him to death and stabbed him if you really felt like it. Uh, but and, and I love the lightsaber Naginata here. I think that's a missed opportunity. I, I, I like the double saber that essentially isn't just to Darth Maul specs. Yeah. I, I, I like people getting creative with this. I would love to see light uh, scream sticks, you know, but, so I love this, but they don't really take opportunity of the range uh, afforded by this weapon. A lot of waiting there in that stab. Yeah. yeah. I will say, though, that uh, to what on one of my earlier points is the way the way the rest of that little moment played when the the fella disarmed the other fella and took his gun and destroyed his gun, there did seem to be a little more of no no I want to make this last I want to enjoy this moment right. that's I don't want to kill you right away I want to kill you slow so I, I think that kind of justifies that now as far as once the fight is on then I think your points are valid but I think it's, you know it's a it's a it's a it's a movie trope but we all love it where the villain goes no no we're gonna we're gonna make this last I, I think, think I that's noticed, perfectly okay and that's fine but these it's very clearly these guys are bounty hunters you know it's very clearly that they're there to collect a bounty and to to assassinate the other, and in that case, if it's if it's an assassination trope, then it needs to, you know, even every a, move should support that. Even as something something as simple as setting up in the story that the bounty hunter has to take the other guy alive, mm-hmm. you know, just yeah, that that'd be something fine. very simple to to make that that approach. Yeah, that, clear. exactly. But but if but in the absence of clear definition, I'm going to assume that the intention is to kill. I I like the um the interaction with the blasters on the ground. A lot yeah. of good effects work There's this year. There's a lot year, of good, ni- nice, non effects. effects. Sort of in- yeah. incidental. It doesn't, like, stop and look at my awesome effect. It's it's integrated really nicely. I like drawing the sidearm, and I like, okay, the sidearm's down, now I'm back to saber. I like that. I just wish some of the other transitions from the range to the melee was a little bit more, a little bit smoother and a little bit more logical. That was a bad sell on the punch, by the way. That's yeah. a, the camera should be on the, on the opposite side or slightly behind in a 45 if you're going to sell a shot from that, or sell a punch from that angle. I'm not a judge, uh, but this is actually one of my favorite entries. I just really, I, I like this one. A lot. I like the way this plays out. I love the inventiveness of the effects. I love the blaster thingy, and I really like the idea of the long saber thing. Even though Eddie knows what it is and how it should work, I don't. I think it's cool. That's why I'm not a judge. This is I was again that pu- that I punch was... didn't sell well. I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt. That again, okay. that punch was 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 the bad angle to show that. Punch. Oh, I like this bit. This is a funny gag if I remember right here properly. Yeah. Oh that's no, great. I missed it. Uh, I missed it earlier. It's like he pulls his gun, but he's got his lightsaber out, so he accidentally shoots the blade and almost kills himself with it. <laughs> I thought that was a funny bit. Um, I uh, this was one of the ones um, most entertaining ones I felt. It's very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. And again, we, you know, when and we in, offer in critique... terms of like which one am I most entertained, which ones do I enjoy watching the most? This is uh, near the top of my list. I would agree with that. I have, a, I have actually just, the, the more I watch it, a lot of issues with some of the performance things. You know, you're talking about those missed, you know, cells on, on some yeah. of the punches and stuff. But there's a lot of getting to the block and waiting for the other I hate attack that. to hit there. And there's like, they, they did a move a few seconds ago where I think one of them was going to like swing the inside of his fist against the other one and he blocked it, but it was between them. So he wasn't really blocking anything. Exactly. And things like that. that I mean, that one in particular I was looking at, it feels, it 
it feels less like one is swinging and one is is blocking. It feels more like okay, and now we put our hands here, right? And then I, we move on to I this. Get, move, I get the feeling know. that that was one of those things where it's like it started as so he was hitting and then he started blocking, but as they kept rehearsing, it got more and more. Looser, okay, I do looser, this, we do yeah. this, we do this, and yeah. then the intention is lost. You know. Yeah. Okay. Cool, Brian, Trey. Uh, yeah, like I just said, this uh, in terms of which ones that I enjoy watching the most is, is near the top of my list. Um, yeah. <laughs> Trey. Yeah, yeah, same, same here. As, uh, as an over as an overall effort, if you know, judging on all categories, I think this is a very strong effort. Um, and I think uh, again, I think there's some good choreography in here. Not perfect all the way through, even I can see that. But uh, I think a lot of it works really well. There's some there's some very strong filmmaking, and that makes whatever the choreography was. The choreography that there is is enhanced by the fact that this is a generally well shot yes. project and a well paced one and a well cut one. Ryan Weba, I, I agree with that. Um, and but I think I think just sort of the quality of the 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 film in general is sort of outshining the the choreography itself. And there are a lot of sort of little performance issues like we were talking about that I don't think I think they could it could be improved next time around. And it's it's uh, kind of the same thing. It's like. You know, if if it's just a little, you know, nothing that they're doing is necessarily wrong. It's actually all on the right track. They just need to refine it a little more, right. I think. Dorkman? Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I how, think. how do you refine that way? Yeah, just a over, lot of it. it a lot of it is practicing it, uh, tightening it up. Uh, again, we're we're harping on this, but it's really something that that um, bears constant repeating um, and even you know constant repeating to yourself when you're working on it make it clear what the intention is each time who's attacking who's defending why what's you know what's their plan if this doesn't work what's the plan after this you know they they, they should always be thinking one move ahead either way either what do I do if he blocks this or what do I do to counter this and and um, uh, yeah, and, and more practice, you'll be able to, to amp up the intensity. And also in terms of the shooting, um, like we talked about, this is this is uh, between the choreography and the filmmaking, I think the filmmaking is certainly more yeah. uh, more advanced yeah. uh, than a lot of uh, uh, other other people's stuff is. Absolutely. Um, uh, uh, if anything, just a little tightening up would help as well with the editing. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that could probably um, uh, help alleviate some of the problems we're talking about as well as uh, you know, practicing it and improving the performance, right. you can do a lot with the editing as well. Right. Eddie Doty. Uh, you know, in my mind, I really enjoyed watching this entry, and, and in my mind, this is a good entry that has some some things that are weighing it down and preventing it from being a great entry. Uh, like one that really, you know, kind of, you know, one that's, it, to me, it's, like it's, it's almost there in a lot of ways, but there's a few things that trip it up a little bit that I just feel like why what happened <laughs> <laughs> someone in the chat said who's the guy with I'm the blue shirt and then we all that. answered and then he's like Ryan. I know he always wears a blue shirt <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. I totally hey. missed the joke. Hey, you. I'm sorry, Eddie. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, no, so the uh, so for you know, for my mind, I, I I think refining a few things and smoothing out some rough edges, I think would have made this intrigue go a long way. As a film, it's really really cool, and I and I I would gladly watch that again. 